Which do you think has more variation? The 100-yard dash finishing times for the 20-member track and field team at a local prep school or the 100-yard dash finishing times for 20 randomly chosen members of the faculty from the same school? All right, so this question is asking us about variation. So we're talking about the spread in the data, you know, how different the data items are from one another, how spread out or dispersed they are. If you look at the first group, they're track and field members for their high school, right? And they're going to be running the 100-yard dash, and we're looking at their finishing times. <clears throat> Even though there might be some long-distance runners and maybe some short-distance runners, and they might have different finishing times based on their specialty, um, there probably would be more consistency in athletes and their 100-yard finishing time if all these athletes are um, runners, right? And they're all runners in the track and field team. If you look here at the other group, it's 20 randomly chosen members of the faculty from the same school. Now, of course... You know, faculty members could be of any fitness level, right? There might be some that are, um, you know, Olympic athletes from college, and then there might be some that are um, couch potatoes and never get out and get any exercise at all. Um, some might be in their 50s, some might be in their 20s. It all depends, right? So there should be theoretically more variation in the faculty members' scores for the 100 yard dash than there would be in the track and field team. This would be a tighter group. The scores would be more clustered in this category. In the case of the faculty members, their scores would probably be all spread out depending on their varying fitness levels.